Welcome to the Installing Peachtree on a Server Anytime Learning Topic. This topic provides an overview of the procedures and steps used to install Peachtree on a computer that will host the Peachtree company data in a networked Peachtree environment. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to prepare your system for a successful Peachtree installation, install Peachtree on a networked workstation computer, Share the folder that will contain Peachtree's data path, and then register Peachtree and check for updates. This guide provides a walkthrough of installing a multi-user version of Sage Peachtree on a computer connected to a peer-to-peer -peer network environment. During this demonstration, Peachtree will be installed on a computer system running Microsoft Windows 7. However, the steps outlined here can also be used to install Peachtree on other supported versions of Windows, as well as dedicated Windows servers, such as Windows Server 2003. Before installing Peachtree, it's a good idea to prepare your system. To learn tips that will ensure a successful installation of Peachtree, it is recommended that you view the pre-installation checklist topic before installing Peachtree. The pre-installation topic walks you through preparing your system for a Peachtree installation, including verifying system requirements found on the side of Peachtree's box, verifying that you have local administrator login rights, which is necessary for any installation of Peachtree, configuring antivirus and firewall software so that they do not interfere with Peachtree's installation and functionality, and more. To begin installing Peachtree, insert the installation disk into your CD or DVD drive. Peachtree's Auto Run window should automatically display. If the Auto Run window does not display automatically, you can manually run it by opening Windows Explorer, opening your CD drive contents, and then double clicking on the Auto Run application. On the Auto Run window, click once on the Install Peachtree Accounting hyperlink. A user account control window may appear asking you if you want to allow the setup program to make changes on the computer, always select Yes. The Install Shield wizard will execute, preparing your system for the installation. The Peachtree Installation wizard will then start. This installation wizard will guide you step by step through the setup process. Now let's click Next to begin the setup process. First, agree to the license agreement and then click Next. At this point, you may receive a message stating that the Windows firewall has been detected. Firewall programs running on the system must allow Peachtree and its helper programs to run without restriction, otherwise Peachtree will not function as designed. Always click Yes to this message. Doing so will instruct the Peachtree setup program to automatically configure Windows firewall to allow Peachtree files to run properly. Depending on your system, the setup program may also detect additional non-Microsoft firewalls running. Note that unlike the built-in Windows firewall, the Peachtree setup program cannot auto-configure other firewall programs. It is for this reason that you should follow the steps outlined on this prompt to turn on the firewall's alert system. With alerts turned on, your firewall program will prompt you the first time network-aware programs are executed on your system. When you receive firewall alerts during installation, you must always select to allow or unblock Peachtree and Pervasive files as they are being run for the first time. You can click on the How Do I Configure My Firewall link to find walkthroughs on setting alerts for many popular firewall programs. Peachtree will then search for previous versions of Peachtree installed on the system. Now the serial number window will appear prompting you to enter the serial number found on the back of the installation CD case. We'll enter the serial number and then click Next. On the Single Computer or Network window, we must select whether or not we are installing Peachtree only on this computer or if we plan to share the Peachtree Company data on a network. If we were installing a standalone, single-user version of Peachtree, we would leave Yes selected. However, we plan to share the Peachtree Company database with other Peachtree workstations in a multi-user network environment, so we will select No and then click Next. On the Peachtree Company Data File Storage window, we are asked if we want to store the Peachtree Data files created for the company on this computer, 
or if another computer on the network will host the data. For this demonstration, we are hosting the company data files on this computer. We will leave Yes selected and click Next. On the Choose Peachtree Program Files Location window, we will define the location on this computer that the Peachtree Program Files should be stored. This location must be a local hard disk installed on this computer. It cannot be a mapped network drive or a removable media drive such as a USB flash drive. Let's leave the program path to be installed in a Sage Peachtree folder in our system's program files directory and click Next. Earlier, we told the setup process that the company data will be stored on this machine. Now we need to define the exact location on the Peachtree Company Data Location window. This folder will contain your Peachtree Company Data folder as well as sample companies and Peachtree files that are designed to be shared between companies, such as tax table and report files. This folder is often referred to as Peachtree's data path. By default, this data path is stored inside a folder named Company. You do have the option to change this folder to another location on the computer. However, when defining the location of a Peachtree data path, remember that the folder should be located inside another Windows folder. For example, Note that in this demonstration, the data path defaults to c colon backslash sage backslash peachtree backslash company. Installing the data path folder into a subfolder will allow you to share the folder above the company folder during the installation wizard process. This way, workstations will be able to map to the shared folder and not the actual data path folder. This type of sharing and mapping configuration is necessary for peachtree to function properly. Also remember that because this installation has been defined as the system that hosts the company data files, the location you select here must be a local hard drive and not a network drive or removable media. We'll leave this set to its default location and click Next. We have finished configuring how we want Peachtree to be installed on the system and a window appears summarizing our selections. If necessary, we can click the back button to correct any mistakes we may see. New for Sage Peachtree 2012, an optional Network Installation Manager is available on the summary window. If we select this option, the installation wizard will perform additional steps during the actual installation. Peachtree will install on the server as normal. However, additional steps will occur in the background. The Network Installation Manager will also copy the installation setup files to a shared folder on the server. In addition to the installation files, the Network Installation Manager option will add a client installation file to help automate each workstation installation. Also, the Network Installation Manager will provide a text file at the end of the server installation process that contains the location of the shared installation folder on the server as well as instructions on how to use it to install Sage Peachtree 2012 on each workstation. Let's select the Installation Manager option and then click Install to begin the actual copying and setup process. A setup status window will appear providing you with a view of the current progress of the installation. It will be during this portion of the installation that you may be prompted by your firewall to allow or block one or more of the files listed on this window. Again, always allow these files to run unrestricted. In addition to Peachtree, programs installed at this time include the Pervasive Database Engine, which is used to manage your database, and Sage's Advisor and Integration Services. Once the copying process is complete, another window will appear, providing you with an opportunity to share the Peachtree folder on this machine with the other computers that will access your Peachtree Company data files. Click the Share the Folder button. This will open Windows Explorer with the folder above the defined data path folder highlighted. Right-click on this folder and select Properties. In Properties, select the Sharing tab. Now let's click the Advanced Sharing button. All network users that will be accessing the Peachtree data on this system must have full rights to the shared folder. So we will click the Permissions button to configure the users to have full permissions to this folder. In the Users list, you will see everyone by default. 
highlight this user, and give full control. We will also want to add System as a user. This will allow Pervasive to have full unrestricted rights to the files in this folder. Now that we've shared the folder, let's click Next. On this final screen, you can select to start Peachtree and or read the release notes. You can also select to view a Network Setup Tips text file that provides helpful information that will help make mapping your workstations a simpler process. Peachtree is now ready for use on this computer. Back on the desktop, we now see up to four new icons. The Peachtree icon will start the Peachtree program. The Peachtree automatic backup icon allows you to configure automatic backups without opening the Peachtree program. The Peachtree Knowledge Center icon links you to Peachtree.com's extensive online help. And the Business Checks and Form icon provides direct access to many business forms, such as pre-printed invoices and checks, that can be purchased and used in Peachtree. Both Peachtree and the automatic backup can also be accessed by selecting them from a new startup folder added to the start menu. Now that Peachtree is installed, we can open the program. You may receive additional firewall alert prompts as you start Peachtree. Allow the files to run. Although we are finished with the actual installation, there are a couple of additional steps we should take immediately after Peachtree is installed. First, we should register the program. To register Peachtree, select Help from the file menu and, and then Peachtree Registration. The serial number entered during the installation process will already be entered at the serial number field. Under this field, enter your registration number at the registration number field. Next, enter your customer ID at the customer ID field, and if someone recommended Peachtree to you, enter their ID as well. You can look up their ID by clicking the supplied link. Click OK and Peachtree will now be registered. Next, you can register the Peachtree Payroll Tax Solution if you may have purchased it. Select Help and then Tax Service Registration. Enter the tax registration number given to you when you purchase the tax service and then click OK. A prompt will appear informing you that you are now registered to use the payroll tax service in Peachtree. Click OK. After registering your Peachtree product, you can now check for Peachtree service release updates and Peachtree tax service updates that may have been released since the pressing of the CD. To download and install the latest updates, select Services from the file menu and then Check for Updates. Click the Check for Updates button that appears and follow any steps that the program provides. If updates are available, you'll be walked through a series of steps that will include downloading program and tax service updates and then walking through the update wizards that will appear after the downloads are complete. In this demonstration, there are currently no updates available, so we can click OK to the prompt and begin using Peachtree. With the server installation complete, and the Peachtree data path shared and available on the network, you can now install Peachtree on each workstation that will be using the program. So as you have seen, installing Peachtree is really a simple process. If you prepare your system properly and make sure you register your product and download updates after Peachtree is installed, you can have Peachtree up and running in no time. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to prepare your system for a successful Peachtree installation, install Peachtree on a computer that is acting as a server, share the folder that will contain Peachtree's data path, and register Peachtree and download any updates if necessary. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, visit us at sageu.com.